Two women are back home tonight after escaping the fires on Maui, and now they're trying to help out by raising money for the relief efforts. KCAL News reporter Lori Perez live in Studio City. Lori with more on their story of gratitude. Leslie, that's right. So many of us have such special memories of vacations and weddings and family time in Hawaii. Tonight we spoke with two best friends who were just building their memories there. If the wind had blown the other direction, where we were staying would have been on fire. Um, we were just on Front Street like a day before. These are not the vacation pictures Trista Tapia and Amy Suchman thought they'd be taking of smoke billowing over the mountains. Lahaina homes and businesses burned to the ground after heavy winds fueled a deadly wildfire. You yeah. only see that in the movies and we saw it in real life and it was just awful, Gone. devastating. And these are not the memories they thought they'd be making of waiting in lines, hoping a store might have anything to buy. We walked like three miles just trying to find somewhere to get food, um, water. Of praying for a path to safety. There was only two ways out of Lahaina. Because we didn't have enough gas to make it the other direction, we were just stuck. Our only way out was through the fire. They're wearing lays today, but they are not lighthearted, sharing their story of witnessing the worst natural disaster in Hawaii history as they host a fundraiser at Durango Cantina in Melrose to help the people they can't stop thinking of. It's one thing for us to see a place that's so beautiful burnt down. We were visiting. We're we're just admiring it from afar, really. Um, these people lost their homes, and that's what is most important to us to try and help rebuild that. For the first days of their vacation, these were the happy picks making it to the gram. When the posting stopped, loved ones were terrified. When I don't hear from them, and I'm like, what's what's happening? What's going on with them? Like, where are they? They were without power, without Wi-Fi, without money, but never without hope. Thanks, they say, to locals who gave them advice and supplies and helped them wait out the fire so they could get to the airport and get home to L.A. Having felt that Hawaiian spirit, these two say one day they will return. If anything, maybe it will even be more beautiful because it will rise from the ashes. They have felt the spirit of aloha and now are on a quest to return it. We are live in Studio City. I'm Lori Perez. Back to you. So much gratitude. Thank you so much, Lori.